Hey there, today I'm going to talk about how to add alternative text to images or in simpler terms how to put in keywords into your uh, images on Wix so that Google can find your site better. Most people don't know that you can use your images to help improve your SEO. Today I'm going to show you how to do that and why you should do that. First, I guess I'll show you why you should do that. Uh, adding images on my site and, and to different sites that I add images to really helps with SEO. Let's type in um, Wix SEO Fiverr. I sell Wix SEO on Fiverr, if you guys don't know. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty competitive, um, <clears throat> competitive service that I offer. i got 56,000 results. I'm not on the first page. Um, for any of the SEO services for uh, Google on the text results, but if you go to images, our logo is the first is on a uh, right there is on a second um, second line. Also, right next to this is another uh, image from our gallery. This is the video from our Fiverr page. If you don't believe me, you can I would just click on them and it'll take you straight to our Fiverr page. As you can see, searching for the images for Wix SEO Fiverr versus just searching in regular text, images will really help with your site SEO. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that for your site. So first thing you do is go over to your account page in Wix, log on to Wix, go to your account page, go to manage your site, Today we're going to go to the editor, so go ahead and load Wix editor on your site. Okay, once your uh, site editor is loaded, you can go ahead and find the images you want to add alternative text to. Uh, this one right here is going to be on a slider. A slider is a great way to uh, add more than just an uh, alternative text because it also lets you add... Um, <clears throat> so loaded here it also lets you add a description and Google will read your alternative text and it also reads your description so let's say for mountains you know let's let's get some keywords for these I'm gonna show you guys how to get keywords for your alternative text also Google offers a free uh, tool called keyword planner so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in keyword planner And once you're logged into the AdWords um, account, you do not have to worry about any campaigns or setting up any campaigns. Just go to the Tools section and go to Keyword Planner. Now, once the Keyword Planner is loaded, it gives you lots of options. You can search for new keywords using a phrase or a website or category. You can search uh, for volumes uh, and data and trends. First thing you're going to do is just search for new keywords. Um, here our product or service is going to be mountains or uh, mountain range, probably travel, something like that. So what I would do is I would, uh, keyword planner, type in mountains uh, travel, travel agency, travel location. Let's see if it gives me ideas for that. <clears throat> so these are the keywords I put in. It has a low volume of, of competition, so I don't want. Obviously, I don't want to go for keywords that have a low volume of competition. I also don't want to go for keywords that have a high volume of competition. I want to go somewhere in the middle. So travel agency would be a good keyword to use. So once you find a keyword that you want to use, you can put it right there, copy and paste it into your, your alternative text, travel agency, cheap airfare. Oh, that's a high one, let's see. Airline tickets. I usually put like two or three in here, and then I go ahead and describe, um, let's see. Bailey's 
travel agency offers the lowest airline tickets in the mountains. Something like that. So you can have your keywords um, labeled into your images from your slideshow. You can also change it on your slideshow where it shows no text. So it's basically just a beautiful image with uh, keywords for Google hidden behind it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that for just a regular picture. Maybe you don't have a slideshow on your website. Maybe you just have um, regular pictures here. So I'm going to go ahead and click settings. And in the settings option, it gives me the option to change my image text. Right here it says, what is the, Im what is the image? And tell Google what the image is. Let's see, we have kids and we have dogs and we're advertising a portable tracking device. So let's see if it gives me any ideas. Let's go back to our search over here. To uh, GPS tracker, locate children with GPS. find my pet DPS tracker. I'm not too sure, you know, it's just think of keywords that your uh, target audience or your clients might want to type in when they're finding your product and then Google will do the rest. They'll give you some ideas based on what you think, what you think your audience might be typing in. So let's see if we can get some low competition keywords here or medium competition, not high competition. Awesome. So personal tracker GPS. I think that's a beautiful keyword. So we add that there. Just copying and pasting the keyword directly from Google. Track child. That's exactly what I was looking for. I need something to track my kid. I type in track child on Google and then image will pop up. Once your images pop up, you should go to your web should go to your website from there. And that's basically how you add alternative text, how you add text to your images so Google will find your website better and improve your SEO results. If you have any questions about um, SEO if you want to improve your site. If your site's not being found on Google, Bing, Yahoo, any search engine, I'm not just focusing on getting you to the first page on Google. I can also get you to the first page on Bing, Yahoo, all the other search engines. All you have to do is go to our Fiverr page, fiverr.com uh, slash team WHHP. Click on get your site found with Wix SEO. We have Packages starting at only $25. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Thank you for watching. Yeah.